Okay, um, it tells you to graph y sub 1 as 7x plus 2. So I'm going to click to enlarge the graph. And then I'm going to click on the line tool, which is right here. And then for 7x plus 2, the plus 2 is your y-intercept. So I'm going to click right here. Boop. And then the slope is 7. You know, 7x plus 2 is mx plus b. So I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then over 1 and lock it in. And now to do the other side, you have to click the line tool a second time. And then the other equation that I have here is 2x minus 3. So I'm going to go to minus 3 on the y-axis. Click. And the slope on this one is 2. So I'm going to go up 2 over 1, lock it, and lock it in place and then just hit save. And then you can see, if I enlarge this so I can see it, okay, now that worked really well. Uh, I can see that my intersection point is right here and um, that crosses, it, or this point has an X coordinate of negative one. Um, let me shrink that back down again. Okay, so then I'm gonna hit, oh man, this little thing's in the way. Uh, will it move? Shoot. <laughs> uh, hang on a second. Okay, I had to move the whole thing. It says check answer. There we go. Nice work. I right, go full screen again. And then okay. And then the next part pops up and it says what is the solution? So type your answer in interval notation. Okay, so it, it intersects here at x is negative 1. The question is, is it going to be x is greater than negative 1 or less than negative 1? So I have to look at the original problem. We are wanting to know where the 7x plus 2 is less than, which means below the 2x minus 3. And when I look at this graph, um, the steeper line has the slope of 7. So this is my y sub 1. And this is my y sub 2. So we're looking for where this line is below that line, which would be right here. It'd be to the left of this point. So pretty much over here in quadrant, you know, 3 is where all of the points would have um, y coordinates where the y sub 1 is less than the y sub 2. I hope that makes sense without me drawing on it, but it would be x is less than uh, the x coordinate was negative 1. What? <laughs> Shit, hang on. Am I at negative 1? Yeah, negative 1. We're looking for where that is less than the 2x minus 3. Oh, pfft. hello. Uh, I forgot to read the directions. Type your answer in interval notation. Arr. Okay, so interval notation would be negative infinity. Where is that infinity? Here it is down here. Click on it, comma, negative one. There was no equal to, so parenthesis. And now, there we go. Excellent. Okay, I hope that helps. Um, I wasn't able to draw on this because I was right within my math lab, so sorry about that.